Hi everyone, today is Monday, January 23rd, 2017. My name is Brian McInerney, I'm the hydrologist here. This is a mountain weather briefing for a series of storms that has really already occurred from Friday up through the weekend, but this is the last little part of this. So what I thought we'd do is talk about how much we've gotten up to this point and then talk about what's remaining throughout the rest of today, Monday. So when you look at Monday, this is about 10 o'clock, what we see are the winds at about 11,500 with the low pressure right here coming off of the coast of Southern California and Baja getting the most energy. As this is moving through, we've got southwest flow, but there's a cold front that's coming from the northwest that's going to move in to Utah about noon, maybe 2 p.m. in that range. When you look at northern Wasatch, and this is usually how we start these, when we talk about snow amounts that have already occurred, We've had this storminess since Friday, and we've had almost two feet of snow. Potter Mountain, Snow Basin, uh, Beaver. Uh, when you look at the amounts, 23 inches for Potter Mountain and uh, Snow Basin. And when you look at uh, Beaver Mountain, about 13 inches already, we're going to get additional amounts. And when you look at the amounts that we're expecting, about 6 to 12 uh, inches with about a half an inch to 1.5 of water. It's going to start about noon, 1 o'clock, maybe even later if it gets going. Monday afternoon into Monday night with the greatest snow intensity about Monday at 2 p.m. Peak snowfall rates inch to, to 2 inches per hour in this area at the valley floor. It's going to start, it's going to end at the valley floor. It's a cold system and the new snow and uh, densities are going to be decreasing. When you look at the winds, Right around 55, 60 miles an hour starting today at about noon. And they're going to stay up there, and they're coming out of the northwest as that cold front moves through. And then it's going to veer west and then west-northwest. And the winds are slowly going to decrease, but really remain somewhat hefty winds all the way through uh, you know, early morning Tuesday. When we slide down into the central Wasatch front side, when we see the amounts, two feet at Alta. And when you look at solitude, 17 inches, um, areas of snow base, and 23 inches up to this point, and this is in the last 48 hours, snow totals additional today from noon into tonight, 8 to 18 inches, with snow water equivalent of 1 to 2 inches per hour. It's going to start this afternoon, go through Monday night. We're probably going to get the peak snow about maybe 2, th two 3 p.m. with 1 to 2 inches per hour during that time down to the valley floor and then the snow density trends are going to be decreasing we're going to start things off with winds 60 miles an hour and a gust they could go higher uh, but that's what we're expecting on the front side sustained about 40 miles an hour out of the northwest veering to the west and then west northwest as these winds decline but still some pretty significant winds throughout the afternoon hours through about 6 p.m. tonight when we slide back east to the central Wasatch backside and we look at uh, areas uh, like Deer Valley, 16 inches, Park City, 17 inches, uh, we see some pretty significant snow. And it's been snowing hard up there this morning already. Snow totals from noon on through, through the nighttime hours, 6 to 12 inches with a half an inch to 1.5 inches for snow water equivalent. And it's going to start by the afternoon and through the evening nighttime hours. Greatest snow intensity about 3 p.m., 1 to 1 and a half inches per hour. Cold system, already snow there. It's going to keep snowing through the rest of today with decreasing snow densities. Winds, 60 miles an hour out of the northwest. Uh, some pretty significant snow and winds. It's going to be really stormy up high. And when you think of uh, snow deposition when it's coming out of the northwest and then veering to the west, we could have some pretty pretty significant snow accumulation in these uh, leeward sides of the mountains in these areas. Sliding farther east to the Uinta Range, uh, we've got more of the same feet, a uh, foot to about 18 inches already from really the weekend storms, maybe a little more in some favored areas. But from noon through tonight, snow totals are going to increase 8 to 14 inches with snow water equivalent 0.6 to 1.6. It's going to start this afternoon. It's going to end tonight. And right around 3 p.m. is when we expect uh, the greatest snow intensities of an inch to two inches per hour 
and again down to the valley floors in this area we've already got snow it's cold snow density trends are decreasing so when you look at the winds here 55 miles an hour going to start out of the northwest veer to the west through this system through the evening and then nighttime hours out of the west northwest snow, the winds are going to remain pretty high you know right around 45 40 miles an hour and then tonight they're going to drop off when you look at the entire picture we've just got phenomenal amounts of snow 150 to 200 percent of median and this is only adding to an already significant snowpack so we're doing quite well with snow this is just adding more to it the long-range forecast has another system small one on tuesday wednesday and we'll talk about that but here's all our contact info facebook twitter my email and please look at the utah avalanche center uh, conditions in the backcountry have been a little dicey. There's been a lot of avalanche work at the resorts. It's going to continue with this storm, and then we'll see how it goes the rest of the week. This is Brian McInerney, Hydrologist National Weather Service. Uh, good system so far, good season, and we'll just keep going. Thanks for listening. We'll talk again. See ya.